My name is A.J. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist, and you can read my writing and see my latest CNN appearance and my MS MSNBC appearance uh, at hagoodman.com. This message, uh, this segment, is for the indignant, paranoid Hillary Clinton supporters who contact me on social media and either try to intimidate me or make me feel guilty. Okay, first of all, I don't care what you think of my writing or my thoughts, because very rarely, you know, almost never uh, does somebody actually from the Clinton side actually form a rebuttal. It's always, you should feel guilty, you're going to give the election to Trump, uh, how dare you, you were a libertarian, which I was, I'm a lifelong Democrat, um, but all these insults and ad hominem attacks, I don't care, first of all. Secondly, it actually gives me fuel. So your indignation and your outrage makes me want to write more and makes me want to even uh, do more uh, to ensure that Bernie Sanders wins uh, or to voice my, my thoughts on why Bernie Sanders is better than Hillary Clinton. That's number one. So I really don't care what you think at all. I don't really care if you're upset or uh, you think I'm some kind of bad person. Um, so you can message me uh, on Twitter or whatever. Most likely I'll block you. But you, the way that you, um, I guess, try to intimidate people is not, it doesn't work for me. So I don't care. Uh, that's number one. Uh, number two is this. If you're going to contact me or anyone supporting Bernie Sanders or anyone writing in Bernie Sanders out of principle, explain, number one, why Hillary Clinton took money from prison lobbyists after Bill Clinton apologized for mass incarceration. Just explain that. Say, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton because prison lobbyists are good or it doesn't matter that she took money from prison lobbyists. But actually explain that, because if you're going to contact me and say that, you know, oh, my God, you know, Trump, Trump, all this stuff, at least mention the prison lobbyists. Then when you're done, explain why she's flip flopped on 10 issue, 10 major issues from gay marriage to the Iraq war uh, to Keystone XL to the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Explain why she constantly flip flops and evolves. OK, then explain if you call me a liar. Uh, I, a couple people today, oh, you're a liar, you're a liar. You're voting for Hillary Clinton, who nationally, in every poll, there is not one national poll where more Americans find her trustworthy. In every single national poll, she's viewed as untrustworthy, every single one. And in every single one, she has negative favorability ratings. So don't talk about how I'm, you know, lying and a bad person, people hate me. I don't care what you think, first of all, but second of all, you're voting for somebody who is known throughout the country to be a liar. This is the irony I don't understand. Secondly, I mean, a third, Trump, Donald Trump, your worst nightmare, the person who is now Hitler because of the staged rallies, okay? Donald Trump goes golfing with Bill Clinton. Donald Trump invited Bill and Hillary to his wedding. Donald Trump gave Hillary Clinton money, don uh, donations to her Senate campaigns. Donald Trump gave money to the Clinton Foundation. A lot of other people gave money to the Clinton, Clinton Foundation. She has a weapons deal scandal or controversy because of these foreign donations that you no doubt could care less about. That's one of like four major issues. Then we get to the FBI investigation. Look, you're completely brainwashed because the FBI investigation is continu it's ongoing. There was no there hasn't been a resolution yet and she could very she most likely will be indicted. There's 22 top secret emails that you and I and nobody in America can see. They should never have been on a private server. Number 1, number 2, she deleted 30,000 emails. Most likely it wasn't all yoga or wedding planning, okay? There's cloud servers. There's uh, immunity for the person who set up the server. It's, it's, it's a whole mess. This is a serious issue, and it's ongoing. 
your candidate is being investigated by the FBI. This is the wonderful, ex experienced person. A whole bunch of other things, but I, for the record, I do not hate, I don't even dislike Hillary Clinton. There are many aspects of her I respect. I do not trust her as president of the United States. So I wasn't writing articles or going nuts because she was secretary of state when, when President Obama made her secretary of state. As president, when you merge neoconservatives, Henry Kissinger into a Democratic White House, very bad for democracy. If you can't understand that simple concept, um, then that's your problem, not mine. Um, I don't want a militant hawkish liberal in the White House. If she's a this wonderful progressive, then you shouldn't really, you know, have a hawkish militant quote unquote progressive. And the last thing is this, I really don't care. Uh, I guess I already stated this, but I don't care what you think of me. You're, and then I'm talking to the, the indignant, angry, uh, you know, outraged Hillary supporter. I love Bernie Sanders. And I think that Bernie Sanders is going to win uh, for a number of reasons. But your candidate is under the uh, investigation by the FBI. They don't investigate computers. They investigate people. Her aides, Clinton's aides, are also under investigation. She set up a network because she didn't trust U.S. government servers. So that's the, I guess that's, that's the last thing. But uh, you need to understand something, uh, indignant, angry uh, outraged Hillary supporters for people who are writing in Bernie Sanders. Um, my loyalty is to the United States of America, not to you, not to Hillary Clinton. I didn't swear a, a, an oath of allegiance to Clinton. Okay. It's okay to criticize Hillary Clinton, just like you criticize Bernie, uh, Bernie Sanders, and you criticize uh, every other politician. It's all right. Because establishment Democrats were not there for you. Whatever your cause was, most likely they weren't there for you until it became popular, until the polls said it was okay. Most establishment Democrats. Some people, like Bernie Sanders, were always there or there for m most of the time or voted, voted against the Iraq war, for example. So this is my message to the indignant, angry, uh, very, very uh, frightened uh, Hillary crowd who can't stand me. I don't care what you think of me, number one. And number two, if you fear Trump, then you should also fear Trump's money to Hillary Clinton's Senate campaigns and Bill Clinton's telephone call to Donald Trump before he decided to run. You should fear that. Don't fear my writing or my thoughts. Try to form rebuttals, okay? Ad hominem attacks and conspiracies that everyone's against Clinton and all this stuff. Uh, at, at a certain point, you're going to have to address the fact that her decision making is the reason that she's continually embroiled in scandal. Poor decision making. You couldn't get a job at McDonald's if you had an FBI investigation in your resume. And you want this person to be president? Sorry, I, I'm old fashioned. I don't want my president's linked to FBI investigations. If she gets indicted after November 8th, you're looking, you're definitely going to have a Trump presidency. So that's definite. Um, anyway, I do think Bernie Sanders is going to win. I appreciate you listen, listening to me, uh, everybody who isn't the indignant, angry, uh, Hillary supporter who tries to intimidate every, anyone who won't vote party line, uh, as if Clinton doesn't have, uh, tons of issues with her candidacy. Um, and I just thank you for listening and, uh, thank you.